everyone. This short video is about a problem I've had for a very long time that I've finally cracked and I want to share how to solve this problem with you. I use uh, Stellarium and Sequence Generator Pro and I have a go-to mount, it's a Skywatcher HE25 and I directly connect uh, with an EQDIR cable uh, my PC to the mount uh, and I control it from within uh, Stellarium using EQ mod and also uh, from within uh, Sequence Generator Pro as well. So, so they're all interconnected and uh, it's an alignment problem or positional error problem that I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually demonstrate the problem to you uh, so you can see if it's the problem that you have. So I'm going to start off, I've got uh, Stellarium open and I'm going to connect to a telescope. I'm actually using a simulated telescope but it's uh, mounted to the same thing. So I'm going to connect to the simulated telescope and EQ mod comes up which is fine and I'm going to find M51 the Whirlpool Galaxy and I'm going to slew to it. So our simulated telescope is slewing round to M51. There we go. And we'll zoom in. And you can see everything looks fine. It appears to have slewed to M51. Great. So now I'm going to bring up Sequence Generator Pro. I've made it small so you can see what's going on inside Stellarium at the same time. We've got our control panel and our uh, simulator panel. I'm just going to delete this target here. So I'm now going to plan a target. So I'm going to connect uh, to the simulated telescope. Just the sensor that so it doesn't drift off. Okay. So I'm now going to use the frame and mosaic wizard, uh, which is, uh, I'm going to tell it I want to plan for M51. I'm going to fetch an image. And then I'm going to zoom in on the image and I'm going to draw a rectangle around the Whirlpool Galaxy. And I'm going to center my planned image right on the middle of the Whirlpool Galaxy. Okay. So having done that, I'm now going to uh, create a sequence from that. I'm going to append targets to sequence. It's, it's M51. And I'm not going to do a rotate. And then I'm going to hit OK. Get a message about rotation. Success. OK, so it's now created me a target in my sequence for M51. Uh, now, I haven't yet got any alignment points in, uh, in EQ mods. Let me just quickly prove that to you. So you see here, there's no alignment points at all. It's as if we've not done any star alignment at all. No sinks, if you like, have been done. Now, I've got my simulator set up with an image in it, and that image has, uh, I'll, show, I'll show it to you, I'll just take one, take one image with my camera. And it will always return this same image because it's a simulated image. I'm going to put the crosshair on and zoom in. So you can see here that uh, M51 is not quite centered in that image. The crosshair is showing you where the center of the frame is, but that center is just about on the edge of these uh, outer bars on the spiral of the galaxy. So yeah, I'm now going to uh, ask, using Sequence Generator Pro, I'm going to right mouse on the target. I'm going to ask it to slew to target. Slew to feed. And you'll see straight away the problem. It has slewed to a position which is significantly off from where we're expecting it to be. It should be uh, putting that telescope symbol right bang in the middle of M51 and it doesn't. So that's the problem and we also have the similar issue if I try and do a solve and sync. If I hit solve and sync now, just get rid of the frame and focus and the image, I hit solve and sync. So it will take an image which will be that image I'll show you, there it is. It's now plate solving it and it's solved it. It knows the RA and the deck. 13, 29, 39, 47, 13, 53. Okay, but look, in Stellarium, the telescope's even further off from where it should be. Something is wrong. 
Okay, so how are we going to fix this problem? Well, the actual cause of the problem is to do with incompatible epochs or reference times uh, between the different pieces of software. And it's actually the EQ mod uh, epoch that needs to be sorted out. Uh, and the uh, Stellarium and Sequence Generator Pro are both using the J2000 epoch. And we need EQ mod to use that same epoch. That is what's going to fix this issue. So the way we're going to do that, I'm going to disconnect Sequence Generator Pro from the telescope. I'm also going to go into the Stellarium, and pick the telescopes, and I'm going to disconnect also from the telescope within Stellarium. I can now bring up the properties bar, go down to choose ASCOM telescope, get this ASCOM dialog, and pick properties on there. Now that brings up the EQ mod ASCOM setup. Window. There is actually a way from within uh, Sequence Generator Pro to bring up this same uh, dialog. Now, on the right hand side, there's this innocuous looking drop down box which says Epoch Unknown, and this is the problem. This box defaults to Epoch Unknown, and uh, you need to change it to J2000 uh, so that uh, EQ mods are using the same epoch as the other pieces of software. So we'll change it to J2000 and click OK, OK, OK. And now we can reconnect to the telescope. And I'll go back into Sequence Generator Pro and reconnect it to the telescope. And it brings the Whirlpool Galaxy back to the sensor again. OK, so we're all connected back up again. Delete my plate solve image. Uh, and I'm going to remove the alignment point, uh, make sure there's no alignment point. So there's still no alignment point. So what I'm going to do now is right click on M51 and choose slew to target. Okay, right click on there, slew to target. And we need to unpark, yes we do. So it's now slewing to the target. And remember before it slewed to a point that was right over here somewhere. That wasn't correct. And you see now that it is almost bang on where it needs to be. But we haven't actually done any alignment points. We haven't done a sync. So I'm going to use Solve and Sync now. I'm going to click Solve and Sync. That's going to load my camera image, which we know is slightly off and is centered on that other point. And you see now it puts the uh, alignment point correction in. Click OK. And you can now see, hopefully, that the point... Uh, that Stellarium is showing the telescope is pointing at matches the point which is the center of the image coming from the camera. So everything is now uh, really nicely aligned. And what, having done that, I can go back to the target in Sequence Generator Pro and do slew to target. And of course, when we planned it, we chose for the very center of the galaxy to be the center of the frame. And you'll see now it's moved the telescope to that point. So everything is now working really sweetly. Uh, I know many of you out there probably laugh at this and go, oh, I fixed that years ago, or how silly of you to, uh, to not know. But if, if no one tells you how you're supposed to find out how to fix these things, it took me ages to figure out what, what was wrong. Um, I know there will be some people out there who will be going, hurrah, finally it's fixed. And that's why I made this video for you guys. So uh, if it fixed it for you and restored your sanity, please drop me a comment and if you want to see more of these tutorials uh, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to the channel. Take care and clear skies.